Even during the recent pandemic era, certain economies show strong indicators for growth and opportunity as we look over the next five years. In today's video, we will be focusing on the investment options and not the financial system of each country. But for a breakdown of this and other information, please feel free to visit the full article in the description below. Before we begin, today's video is not financial advice. We recommend investors seek independent financial advice before investing in any markets across Asia. In addition, you may wish to seek legal assistance depending on the country and investment type. The first investment option is in the stock exchange. There are many different exchanges to choose from, but one interesting one is the Vietnam Stock Exchange. This exchange is rising in popularity due to the rapid expansion from early 2020 until present. Based on the latest data from today, a one-year return of investment is just under 50%. Each country in Southeast Asia has different rules and regulations regarding foreign investment. The most common type of regulation is that foreigners cannot own more than 49% of the business, but this percentage does fluctuate depending on the country and the type of market. The next option is investing in real estate. Many countries in Southeast Asia, such as Thailand, Vietnam, and the Philippines, only allow investors to legally own condominiums. There are some technicalities and gray areas around this, but condominiums are the only option for most situations. If you wish to invest in other property types, such as commercial property, then some of the legal loopholes would be setting up a business in your chosen country and placing the investment under the business name rather than your individual name. But naturally, this method does have its pros and cons. Alternatively, you may wish to invest in a bank product. Banking products do not offer the highest return of investment. Nonetheless, there are certain benefits of investing with a bank, especially if you are looking to build a relationship and open a bank account with the bank. Alternatively, another option is angel investing. And one of the great things about investing in Southeast Asia is that there are plenty of opportunities in the current market. Many believe that the Asian market will be highly robust in the near future. But with angel investment, as you're investing in a startup business, the return of investment and the level of risk may not be balanced. Therefore, you may find other investment opportunities in Asia more suitable for your needs. The last option is starting your own business. Each country has its own requirements. For example, some countries do not allow foreigners to start a business without heavy involvement from local citizens and or a significant financial investment. In addition to this, many Asian countries also have secondary requirements, such as a foreign business must hire a certain number of local staff, for example. 